I must say that this is probably one of my favorite books so far this summer. I couldn't get enough of it. And I honestly think that Jamie McGuire is a genius. It's Heather from Nightly Reading and I am here today to do a review and ramble and spoiler on Beautiful Oblivion by Jamie McGuire. This is the first book in a new series by Jamie called the Maddox Brothers series. This is kind of like a companion series to Beautiful Disaster and Walking Disaster. If you have not read Beautiful Disaster, I highly suggest that you read it. Um, I have read it probably five times already. And everybody goes crazy over Christian Grey, and although Christian does hold a small place in my heart, my heart, the rest of it, belongs to Travis Maddox. Um, he is the, char the main character in the Beautiful Disaster book, and Walking Disaster is kind of the same storyline, but it's from his point of view. The first book is from Abby's point of view, who is the female main character. Um, it's kind of a love story, and a lot of people have a love-hate relationship with the book. Um, I absolutely adored it. I could not get enough of it, and like I said, I've read it so many times. Um, I would probably pick up that book prior to reading this book um, you would understand a little bit more about what's going on you absolutely do not have to read Beautiful Disaster in order to pick up Beautiful Oblivion you can read this one by itself um, and then see what you think and you can pick up Beautiful Disaster afterwards <sighs> Beautiful Oblivion is Trent's story he is Travis's brother um, we see a little bit of Trent and Beautiful Disaster uh, not too too much because that was basically Abby and Travis's story. Well, Trent finally got a story of his own, and I'm so, I was so excited. So I read this. I like literally marathoned this book. We had gone. I think it was to Walmart and Target, um, and I picked this book up on a Friday night, and I started reading it at 10:30, and I stayed up till 4:30 to finish it because I just had to get to the end. I had to find out what was going on. Well. The story is about Trent and his first love, and I can't remember her name. Oh, Cammy. Um, Cammy and Trent meet in college, so it's another college story. Um, the interesting thing about this book is that it follows along the same timeline as Beautiful Disaster. So we get to see little glimpses of Travis and Abby um, during the book of things that had happened in Beautiful Disaster, it, the timeline is exactly the same. So while we were reading Beautiful Disaster and we were reading all about Abby and Travis, all of these things were going on with Trent and Cammie that we were not privy to. Um, I thought that that was brilliant. I know a lot of people did not like that. A lot of people were angry that Travis was brought into this book that why couldn't Jamie just give Trent his own book with why does everything have to be about Travis um, I have read a lot of great reviews a lot of reviews not so great um, teach his own I guess <clears throat> when we first meet Cammie she does have a boyfriend he travels quite a lot um, <clears throat> so he's out of town quite often. She had known Trent from high school. They lived in the same town. They grew up kind of together. But he, the Maddox brothers were always known as the, the bad seeds. They were always fighting and they were like tough. So, and they're womanizers. So nobody really goes near them. And Cammie knows this about Trent. But for some reason, Trent just keeps going after Cammie and he gets under her skin. And of course they fall for each other. Now she still has this boyfriend on the back burner. Um, she did 
break up with him, but he still keeps coming into her life. Um, every time he comes into town, he calls her or he shows up where she works or he shows up at her apartment or whatever. Um, I believe his name was TJ. There are little snippets of a mystery. Um, like there's a big secret going on between TJ and Cammie. And Cammie's not allowed to tell anyone this secret that TJ is holding. Um, and she keeps telling Trent that if he finds out about this secret that he's going to be really, really mad and really, really upset with her. And he keeps telling her, no, everything's fine. Um, so the secret kind of gets revealed at the end and we'll talk about that more during my spoiler part. Trent is not as much of a loose cannon as Travis. Um, he's a little more lower key. Uh, he does enjoy a good fight when it's called for but he also has a little bit of a softer side and that comes out in this book. One perfect example is his neighbor's daughter. She's this little girl. She's like five years old and he takes her out to dinner like once or twice a week and they go to this place where they have like you sit down and eat chicken and there's an arcade and you know he plays with her and that's how he first gets Cammie to go out with him. Um, but it was really really sweet. So would I suggest this? Absolutely. I give it five out of five stars. I absolutely love this book and I love the cover. I just think it's beautiful. <sighs> Gosh, the Maddoxes. If only they weren't fictional characters. Now on to the spoilers. Ooh, I'm dying to talk to somebody about this book. So if you have read this book, please, 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 please comment down below because I need to know what everyone else's thoughts are. Um, so if you have not read the book, please do not go any further unless you do not care about getting spoilers because here they come. Alright, the biggest spoiler that I need to talk about is the end. The very last sentence. At first when I read it, I was so confused. I had no clue who the hell this person was. I had to, I literally had to go on Google and search Thomas James Maddox. Duh, how did I not realize that that was Trent and Travis's brother? Anyway, so that confused me a little bit. I really had to do a little searching to try and figure it out. And then once I figured it out, I was like, duh. The other confusing part is there was so much buildup. And I kind of feel like this that wasn't the secret. I really feel like the fact that she was dating um, Trent's and Travis's brother was not really the secret. I have a feeling that there's something even bigger that may happen in the next book, and I'm imagining that the next book is going to be Thomas's. I mean, really, if she's going to leave us hanging that long, I'm going to be really bad. And the only reason why I feel like that is because at the end when they're in the hospital and she wakes up and Trent is sleeping and she sees that Thomas is there, she says to him, does he know? And Thomas says to her, he doesn't know about me, but he knows about us. So there's something going on in Thomas's life that no one is allowed to know, some big, huge secret. That's what kind of confused me. And as I was getting down, oh, and as I was getting down closer to the end, closer to the end, closer to the end, I kept thinking, oh crap, I'm not going to find this out. Because literally, like, the very last page, I was like, are you kidding? That's it? We don't even find out what the hell is going on. So that was my one downfall about the book. I can't stand that. Like, I understand cliffhangers, but give me a little bit more. Like, I felt like there was so much buildup, but she really didn't give us any idea. Like, there, was, there wasn't there was even a way for us to guess what they were talking about. There's no way that I could even imagine what is going on, what this big, big secret is. Because she gives us these little bits and pieces at a time, but it's not enough to even think about it. It was just like a secondary part of the book until you get to the end and it's like BAM and you're left with nothing. I don't know. So that was like the big spoiler. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think. I haven't seen anything on Goodreads about when the next book is coming out. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a year from now, just like all the others that we have to wait for. I can hope and pray that it's six months, but since I haven't seen or heard anything about it, I'm imagining not. That's my little ramble on Beautiful Oblivion. Love this cover. 
and thank you so much for watching leave me a comment down below click the subscribe button I'm trying to gain more followers I have tons of followers on my blog but now I'm starting on the vlog so we'll see how it goes thank you so much for watching bye